this is just a quick SketchUp tutorial. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, tunnels. Um, I've got my setup here. Um, the thing with domes are, it's pretty much one shape. You can go a bit bigger, uh, but it's still spherical and when you increase the diameter, you increase the height. Uh, so you've got you've got no choice uh, you can go low profile but what you end up with on the ground is a circle now that's not always what we want um, obviously uh, people have different shaped gardens if you're building a greenhouse for example you've got different different shaped gardens you could have a long thin garden and there's many occasions when I've had to build um, tunnel structures because a dome really isn't the best solution for a, for a project so I'm going to um, give you a little bit of a guide around uh, how to make tunnels. They're not that difficult. Um, how not to make them, what works, what doesn't work. Uh, let's start with the, this quick overview. Uh, this, uh, if you can see my pointer, this is a um, standard uh, two-frequency dome. We're going to start simple. Um, and what I'm going to show you is a couple of ways um, on how to make um, the, a, a tunnel um, from from a uh, for a two frequency dome. Now you notice. Let's let's have a, a quick look around here for a second. Um, this is how I build them. This is how you could build them. Because it, and what you, what we do is we build our basically what would you call that a tower, uh, and then we tip the tower over, lie it down, and put the other half of the dome on the end. What effect? What an effect you have. This is a quarter. Of a, of a sphere and um, that's what we have there now if you let's let's uh, take a quick quick look at without the things on we'll just look basically at um, our two different methods right that this is uh, the method where you use a um, anti-prism and this is a method where you use a prism uh, of course you, you, you can imagine let's have a look at our sphere uh, back over here. What we've got is a sphere and um, two frequency. I've put a little block against it just to uh, show you um, that you can half, and I'll just rotate this around a bit, you can half uh, the ground level goes about here so that's your typical classic place but you can also half it around this edge here. It does mean that you go straight through the centre of those two panels and uh, through the centre of a couple of panels on this side. Uh, the problem with this is if you uh, keep your dome oriented that way um, and, and this is your ground level, uh, when you go to make your tunnel that's a di they're all different lengths. That's a different length and you've got one half, a full, a full, one, two halves, uh, three halves and then you've got the base. So you've got a really um, ugly join if you like uh, so what I do is I switch that around let me see if I can sort of get, give you an idea of uh, what I mean I switch that around so that um, let's just show you take the whole lot and we'll change the orientation to that And what I do is I put the dome that way up. Now, if we, we'll just uh, just get rid of that uh, selection, let's have a quick tour of this. Now, what you've got is you've got a, a dome that looks tidy. Uh, it has some half sections on the bottom, but that's not offensive. It looks okay. But what you've got is let's line this up. You've got a, a straight line there. Now, what we do is we split that straight line, and we can separate that out. Um, to make a um, tunnel with two domes on the end. Uh, let's just um, change that back and have a look at uh, the two different ways. So, what you can do is you can do that with a, as I was saying, an anti-prism or a prism. The idea is that um, most people know that um, a two-frequency dome has an equilateral triangle 
all these here are equilateral triangles and all these are equilateral triangles. We've started each one with a, a prism on this side and an antiprism on that side. Uh, and I'll just show just show you the difference. Uh, I'll just get rid of these because they're cluttering up the place. We know where we start. Let's have a look now. Get rid of that. Right. Let's go. Uh, look at the prism closely with a geodesic dome on top. We put the dome on top. Now, the difference between this one is that this edge length here is uh, the same, but it's it's from it's from the tip to the center. It's not this edge length. That's an equilateral triangle. So this equilateral triangle is a different size from that equilateral triangle because we know that a, a two frequency dome is made out of this pentagon type shape and an equilateral triangle. So these are a different shape. So you're adding an extra shape, and uh, in my opinion, it looks a bit ugly. Uh, let's look at the how it looks um, in a tunnel. There we go. That's how it would look in a tunnel. Looks like it's a reasonable tunnel, um, but you've got a right mess on the ground floor level. Uh, they've got the half cut through, which looks okay. But you've got this where you've gone right the way through the center of one of these, so you, that wouldn't work. You could do it with just squares, but that would look pretty rubbish as well. So this method doesn't really work. Let's go back um, to uh, the other method, which is antiprism. Uh, this is a much more interesting um, method of doing it. Uh, we, we take an antiprism. And you've got to twist the next one because obviously you've got to get the mirror, mirror images. So this is this is uh, they're all the same, but they're mirror images. Um, so what you tend to have to do is do them in pairs. I've got two pairs shown here. Uh, now let's have a look. That there is an equilateral triangle there, and so is that. So you you have added no extra work. Uh, you can use the same pattern to make your. Um, a, a tunnel this way. Let's have a look at. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. Right, see where we're at. This is the antiprism version. Uh, now, we are cutting through the centre, but it's from point to point. We're not. We're not cutting through through the centre where we have to, we have a load of tips cut off and a lot of bases cut off. It's from point to point. So these triangles on the bottom line, all of them, all the way around, are half triangles. That one there, it's got a light grey, so it's half of one of these pentagon triangles. And this darker colour one is a half of an equilateral. And this this one here is a half of an equilateral. So you, you've got your some halves, but you've only got two different patterns. And I think that's a much neater uh, way of dealing with it. You've got a place here for a door. You can put a door in. Um, it, it's far neater um, doing that way. Okay, uh, the, the next natural progression is to see if we can make a tunnel out of a three frequency dome. Um, uh, we started with a two. Let's go up to three and see if we can keep going. This is where it breaks down or gets a little bit more complicated. I've done exactly the same with this um, dome as I did with two frequency. And you can see that works exactly the same. We have, let's appear from the top, a straight edge going round. And then, we ha when, then we're going through the centre of some, through the centre of these ones. Um, and if, if I quickly spin this round get rid of the selection right if I were looking at so the, the, the dome has been tipped over 90 degrees pretty much it makes 
uh, quite a, a nice functioning dome. I actually have um, plans for this style of a three frequency dome. It, it, it adds a, uh, quite a nice feature in that this is an exact half sphere. Um, it has uh, some half panels, fair enough, uh, but it's um, it doesn't have some of the issues. It's all flat, all on the bottom. So all your all your timber, all on the bottom, is square edges. It, uh, it's not sloping or anything like that. So it makes quite a nice dome. Uh, however, then at the next step, we're looking to split this to form a tunnel. Now, if you look at this, it looks like we're almost there. This band here, if we could just increase that band and add more bands, we should end up with a tunnel. But it doesn't work out that way. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back to where we were. Uh, at the proper orientation of a dome and let's uh, take this big old cube and mess on with it a bit. We'll drop it to there and we'll put it across there. Right, let's have a, let's have a look at this. You will notice, uh, I'm just going to pop this up, that uh, that is slightly more than half. The halfway mark is actually right down the middle of those panels. It's about there, that's half of a dome. So with a three frequency dome, you either have to go to here, the nearest one, or there to the nearest one. Let's look at that. But it also makes another issue in that this is a famous problem with the three frequency domes, they don't have a flat base. Now on a, on a dome, you can just fill it that. I've done that before, um, but on a tunnel, you you now if you look at the we'll have, have a look. You have uh, this edge here is a different length to this edge here on a three frequency dome, so you don't have even edges. So now you can't just um, use the the panels that are down here to make. Uh, let me just show, open that up again to show you. We'll, we'll drop it down the next one. With idea being that you would just repeat this pattern. You can't repeat it because it um, it isn't flat. See that kicks up, but it's flat here. So it, it won't, you can't take this shape here and, and turn it into a tunnel. Um, I'll show you on another video uh, about why three frequency and uh, many other different types of domes don't have even ba uh, even bases and how to fix it as well. Uh, it is fixable, um, but what you have to do is you have to mess with the geometry of this. Uh, so for now, we will leave the three frequency tunnels, and I'll maybe show you that in a, in another video. Okay, let's have a look at some finished pictures. Uh, this is a finished two frequency geodesic dome with the anti prism. In between, you can see it better in that picture. Um, I did do, I have done domes in both styles, uh, so let's take a look at the other style. Uh, this one has rhombic tricontrahedrons on the end. Um, I personally don't think it looks as good, and it, it does have a flat top. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just um, stick them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.